Hey guys, so new expansion is coming tomorrow, but we still have a lot of amazing cards in the current Gwent and I would like to make a video about cards that I personally think you should craft before expansion that will be useful in the expansion. Some cards from the current pool that will be useful from tomorrow even more. Uh, what you have to keep in mind is that it's that I don't yet know patch notes. We still don't know the patch notes that can change everything. I can tell you that you should craft card A, but the later in patch notes you will see that it has gained different effect or a provision change. Then maybe my point is invalid. But for now I want to show you what I think will be useful from the cards we see at this moment, one day before expansion. Okay, let's start with thinning cards. So every faction has a thinning card uh, that costs 8 provision and have a 2 power. I do believe in some factions this will be must have in new decks. Why? First of all for devotion. Uh, if you are gonna build a deck with Devotion, you won't be able to play cards like Royal Decree and Mata. So you will want to play some thinning, some things that will uh, guarantee you some good uh, draws. And well, uh, thinning cards helps with it. There are several, some cards that are even better and I think that they are very safe craft. For example, mm, Meno. Meno can play a tactic. And now we have a new cards with Echo that are super powerful if you can get them in round 1. And if you get them in round 3, they are much less crap. Cards like Meno helps you get them in round 1, so it is super crucial and increase the consistency. Uh, same goes with cards like Thief uh, and John Natalis. Uh, Erwin, for example, is still a good card, but uh, the new Echo card is not an Alhemi. Uh, and same with uh, Whisper's Tribute and Organic card. New Echo card is not an Organic card. For Syndicate, Farka is also good because Echo card is uh, a crime. Uh, and Thief is extra good because now we're gonna play a lot with Nature cards. So not only the new Echo card is a uh, Nature, but all of the symbiosis uh, cards require you to play nature cards, so Thief is definitely uh, a must-have. Next thing is damage 5 cards. I do believe there are a lot of things that uh, from new expansions that have 5 power and are sort of crucial to remove. So I do think that it's a safe craft and it's a safe pick in every deck in day 1 to craft and to put cards like Nature's Rebuke, Boiling Oil, or even Azure Thunder. For factions like Monsters you can play instead Parasite, and for Skellige you can play uh, Giga Scorpion and Delirium, but I do think this will be a must-have at least in the first few days of uh, new expansion. So also they are most of the time rare, maybe not in case of uh, Skellige and uh, monsters but they are very very good if you cannot if you have some spare scrap you should craft them damage four cards are gonna be probably also useful but not as much because so there is a, like a, this crucial threshold like four four power is quite easy to remove but five power is a little bit harder to remove and uh, etc from what I've seen from new cards, a lot of uh, them have uh, this threshold 5 cards and few of them uh, six, uh, 6 point. So damage cards are useful. Also because of Veil uh, mechanic, you don't really want to bleed these cards because you can't and you cannot poison them etc. So damage is even better. From a specific cards, Lambert, if uh, CD Projekt is not planning to change this card uh, at all, this is a must-have. You can put it in every, every, every deck, day one of expansion. Why? Because I believe every faction received a token. If you go to the official website and uh, see new cards, we have a new tokens for Scoyatel. 
uh, in form of symbiosis uh, dryads and symbiosis uh, trends we have flaming cross footman and also like regular zetalots that we will see probably a lot of play and testing day one we have uh, tokens for uh, nr we have spice for nilfgaard we have everything maybe it's a little bit worse against skellige but skellige might experimental experiment with some bistex so maybe it will see at, at, at least a little bit of play uh, and of course there are some theory crafting of monster ethereal decks and uh, gerny and uh, araka swarm decks so probably number we see some value there as well so if you want to uh, have a good day in few first days of uh, new expansion craft lambert if you play a lot of uh, nilfgaard it is definitely a safe craft to craft uh, lala he's a good card and with all of the new uh, statuses it will always find value well i meant this card of, of obviously Vincent is the strong enemy unit with status and now we have, we're gonna receive more statuses a lot of cards have random veil on it so it's almost impossible that Vincent will find zero value now sometimes very rarely you have a case when you have to target your own uh, spy with Vincent but in the next expansion everything will have veil so it is pretty safe to uh, just craft him and put him in probably every Nilfgaard deck. Speaking of Nilfgaard, Thirsty Dame is probably gonna be good as well uh, because of the help of Spice, that will be very, uh, probably very good deck and uh, probably will see a lot of testing in first few days. So Thirsty Dame is gonna see a lot of play. Also cards that will give Veil, etc. will give first dame some value so it's probably a good safe craft for Renilfgaard and it's also not very expensive because it's a rare card. <clears throat> so this I'm actually not that sure. Yes everyone will tell you that you should play Purified but at the same time really? Okay so with the addition of Veil and every card is having Veil you won't be able to play Poison at least in probably few first days of new expansion. If you are not gonna play Veil, you won't play any Poison, you won't play probably uh, any Bleed, you will just play Damage. So, do you really need a Purify then? Like, you don't really care if you're gonna Purify Veil if you're gonna destroy it with Damage anyway. So, while it might be a good idea in a long run, in the long run to craft uh, uh, some purified cards especially the big one the faction specific one uh, okay like they are still good they are they are always finding value at the moment and you probably can craft them the specific faction specific one because also they work with devotion but i with poison a little bit gone I'm not that sure if you're gonna see a lot of uh, value from them. However, we have some uh, bleed cards that puts a bleed for a very long uh, time, like bleed three, bleed, uh, bleed, bleed four, and purify kind of work good with it. So it's a probably safe craft, but it's not that must have in few first days, I think. That's it for the like a quick uh, recap of the most Im important cards that you might want to craft before the expansion. Obviously, there are a lot of like high value cards that probably will see a lot of plays, uh, like I don't know Baron, Great Oak, Draug, uh, Wildboar of the Sea, or whatever. It's it, but you know. For cards like this you need to wait for the meta, you need to see how the meta will change and it will definitely change because we see a lot of new powerful cards that will shake up the meta. So I'm excited, I hope you are excited and we're gonna see how the everything shapes up tomorrow. Let's, let's play Gwent and I will see ya.